My favorite part of being in real estate, helping people solve their housing problem, because it is a riddle, and I feel that it's kind of a form of social work, really. So that's the part that really pays off for me. I kind of will do anything I'm comfortable with. So whether it's an owner user, you know, small commercial space to purchase, you know, I'll deal with that if I think it's a good fit, like the, the personalities are a good fit. <laughs> so my specialty is non-specialty. I consider myself kind of a general practitioner, you know. I, I, it's not necessarily the real estate, I'm solving the people problem. My client is, is anybody really that I can get along with and who can get along with me. My client interview, I'd liken it to say dating, you know, say let's try it out for a, you know, a couple of showings and see, see how we feel if we want to move forward after that. And then if it's, you know, if, if it's a good fit, then, then let's do it. My 20 year clients, it, it's, it's an interesting relationship because we check in when there's a, a big moment in their life. So it's a very intimate way to, to catch up through real estate. I like my clients to feel um, like they can be uncensored, that they can, you know, that they can ask what they think are stupid questions, that they can keep asking the same question and it's okay. You know, I want them to feel just completely comfortable and, and, and that they can speak in confidence. And, and so the trust, you know, I want there to be a strong intuitive sense of, of trust. But my other thing that I try to share with my clients is that um, try not to freak out because you may not have to freak out. Because if you preemptively freak out, chances are you may have to freak out twice. <laughs> So just don't freak out, because then you might not have to freak out at all, if that makes sense. I'm David Columbus, a broker with Living Room Realty.